Matt nicely bowled out there today. Eight wickets down overnight on the first day. How do you see the match situation? Um, I feel like we're in a good spot. Um, obviously, from, from being out there all day, you can see it's a really, really good batting wicket. Um, so credit to credit to our bowlers for sticking in and hitting the right lines and lengths and managing to get get a make down overnight. And going back to the beginning of the day, Durham were reduced to thirty three for three. What did you make of Zach Chappell's spell with the new ball? Oh it was brilliant. He's been he's been good every game with the new ball now, um, that he's played this year. So I think seeing the work that he has been that he's done and it's definitely the it's all being paid off now, definitely. There was four bowlers used during that morning session. The scoreboard went nowhere. Zach got, Zach got the wicket. Zach might get the plaudits for that. But how important a role did all four of you play during that session? Yeah, I mean, we, we spoke, we've spoken every morning about trying to go at less than, less than three and over. Today, obviously, we went for a long while at less than two and over. Um, but just sticking in and making sure we didn't go any more than any more than threes. Then, obviously, a bit. You get a few dots, build up a few maidens like we did, a few shots come out. Hopefully, well, obviously they did today. Um, but the best scenario is that you always get always get a couple of wickets with it as well. Four day cricket, you get to bowl longer spells rather than the, the four over diet of T20 cricket. Are you enjoying doing that and how's it feeling on the body and mind? Yeah, no, I mean, it's it's good. It's it's The good thing is, I, it's still feeling, it's feeling normal. Obviously having a couple of weeks off from Red Bull cricket into the 2020s, it's it's easy. It's. I felt it. Well, I found it easy to get back in, straight into it. One more slip catch for you today. The slip catches have been sticking all the way through this season. How, how, how are you enjoying that in that corner? Yeah, it's good. I, actually, I had to go and watch it again. So a few of the lads said, "Are you sure it carried?" And then watching it, it's gone in as easy as anything. So, but no, we've we've been good in there this year. So, um, again, we've done work on it in the mornings off the machine. Um, so it's not like we're going in without out feeling balls into the hand and stuff like that. Slip catching, um, clearing the ropes with the bat a few times <laughs> and, and, and getting some wickets with the ball. Do you feel like you're improving as a cricketer? Yeah, I feel like I'm I feel like I'm getting my role more now um, than what I have done the last couple of years. Obviously bowling first innings is mainly holding and then if you get a few wickets in the process then that's nice. Um, and obviously batting lower down the order you've got almost adapt to different situations like the well the Yorkshire game batted with I had with Tommy for what an hour. Got 14 off 50, but managed to help him get to his 100. Um, and obviously against Lanks, back with Mull at the end, I could go out and chance my arm a bit. Yeah. Uh, what's the plan from here? How to not go about winning the game from this situation? Um, hopefully we get the last two wickets at a decent, decent nick in the morning. Um, and then we look to bat big in the first innings and hopefully bowl them out or. Or if they do get past us, then we give ourselves a nice enough chase to chase either third or fourth day. Thanks, Matt. Well done. Thank you very much.